Alright. So, what's your name again, bro? Rodney J. Rodney G or J? Rodney J. Where you from? Baltimore, Maryland, North. East side. Like, off of like, I'm normally like, uh, grew up like, off of like, Green Mountains area. Uh -huh. And then I moved to like, the Alameda area, to like, the, to now. But I'm mostly on the Northeast side. What type of music you do, bro? I wouldn't say conscious, but it's just more like, just was real to myself for real. Okay. Like I speak for how I feel. Whatever I feel at the moment, I'm gonna write about it. If I hate somebody, I'm gonna put it in the record. Right. If I feel like I'm sad, I'm gonna put that shit in the record. If like I'm not gonna fake what I put in my songs. So like you said, I remember like before I was setting up and stuff, y'all sound like you went to school with like all the yeah, I the went dope rappers, I guess like the niggas yeah. that's hot right now. Yeah, I went. Uh, I had middle school with uh, Davo. Mm -hmm. I had, uh, I went to high school. I don't really like no school like that, but I had whole class with him. Like I see him that month in the hallway or something like that. So like, wh when did you start music? I started, but uh, I started taking it serious like three years ago. But I was always like writing. I just didn't like the confidence level was like it wasn't there. So I guess like, I guess if you're from the city, people would say these artists are like not established, but I guess they're doing. Prestigious in our city, a lot of people. Yeah. What well, you think the disconnect was like between you and them, being that you was in the same circle, talking about going to school with them and things like that. And you see, like their name is like real big. And I guess you're still working to, to get to that level. I think the difference is like I feel like they probably started a little bit before me, mm -hmm. and I started late. Like as far as like getting myself out there. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, to see what they doing is like inspiring. Like, it's like, if I was to see them, like, I'd be like, yo, keep doing what you're doing. Much respect for real. Cause like, the city is talented. No, like, we, like right. when I go to open mics and everything, like it's still a couple artists I feel like should be bigger than what they are, but right. they're not. No, it's a lot of artists I think that should be bigger than what they are. Like, um, you ever heard of uh, Lonnie Moore? Uh, I heard of that name. See, that's the, like, this dude is talented as fuck. Like, he one of the, the best ones, I think. And he's not even, when it comes to the city, he's not nowhere known as a scholar or a Davo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I get what you're saying, but that's not kind of frustrating though, because like you dope and like these people. Not saying that they don't deserve the light or whatever, but mm -hmm. that's that's not like frustrating. Yeah, I think more is like a popularity contest too, because when you start off and you like a lot of people already know you, mm -hmm. that's gonna push you even more. Right. But if you like. Like, say, like, I went to school, like, one of the people that was quiet, like, ain't really say nothing. Like, you would, like, I would talk, but I wasn't around, like, the hype. So, a lot of not, a lot of people probably don't know me. Right. So, when they see me rapping, they just, like, uh, oh, like, or see my shit on their time, they scrolling, like, up another rapper. Okay, okay. But, I mean, but do you think people would, like, this conscious type rap, is that even hot now? Like, is that what's in? I guess J. Cole was kind of, is J, what you call J. Cole conscious rap, though? I wouldn't even say it conscious. I don't know what, like, the definitions of, I feel like conscious, like, it's basically, how, like, you expressing how you feel. Though. Right. I wouldn't even say, people say conscious, like, if you just talking about, like, what's going on in the community and, like, on some, like, KRS-1, that's how, it, I think right. most people, I feel like conscious is, like, if you talking about, like, things you experience, too. Right. Like, heartbreak or, like, relationships or whatever the case may be. Like, it don't always have to be politics and shit like that. So, I guess the question is, do you think anybody give a fuck about music other than bang, bang, kill, kill, I guess? Like, I, I do. It's just depending on, like, when I, like, it depends on what type of crowd, like, that's why I feel like the only thing like here, like, it's, like, here it's like one particular like set of artists like they like talk about the same stuff but in different ways. Right. It's just that one lane. And then I'm gonna shoot like, you with a nine millimeter. Then the other one say I'm gonna shoot you with an AK forty seven. The yeah. same shit, but it's just. A different then it be like yeah. Then it be like rumors like you feel me? Oh these I don't like people be like the same people be hyping them up. Right. Be the same people talking like oh he not even like that. Uh -huh. blah, 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 but be yelling out their lyrics and everything. Yep. But I like. I just want, I don't know, it don't even have to be, I just want to be, like, if it's me or somebody like an icon or whoever it may be, like, to push that other side, like. That's kind of like an underground rap, I guess, though. Or is it only because you're underground? I feel like here, because, like, but if you go, like, for instance, I went to the TDE concert yesterday. Mm -hmm. Like, an artist like Kendrick Lamar that people would consider conscious mm -hmm. had, like, 30,000 people yelling out his lyrics. Right. 
and like a J. Cole and like a, a even a like even Drake, like he would say how he feel. Like right. even though all his songs, like people love most of his songs when he's speaking from the heart or whatever he feels like. Yeah, man, I'm always trying to think about like how could we put artists like that on the map more, I guess. I feel like too, I like it's a kind of like a gimmick too. Mm -hmm. Cause like if you look at most rappers in that lane too, like I can't explain it, like they just don't be all up doing like the type of shit that like like they, they don't be thirsty. Right. They be like more laid back. Like just stay in that lane type thing. Yeah, like So like where where do you wanna go with this, I guess? I wish I'm trying to go global. Like I'm not like like my favorite artists of all time is Michael Jackson. Of course I'm not probably that'd be scary if I reach that level. I don't I'm not looking to be that level. Because babies come out the womb knowing Michael Jackson, but I just wanna be I don't want to be only known here. Like, mm -hmm. I want to be known in Compton, Atlanta, New no, York, no, fact, Japan. Yeah. Like, I want to do Europe tours and shit like that. And I want to just be like, when somebody from Baltimore see me, like, I want to grab me. So, like, when somebody turn on their TV from Baltimore and see it, a nigga like me that people hated when, like, niggas ain't even like my shit. Like, I remember the first open mic I went to, Love and Hip Hop. I perform a hip hop is dead song. Niggas was laughing at me. Like niggas was just giggling in the crowd. Then I like spent like four hours at night just writing. And I came up with a song called Vibe with me. I did that shit, everybody started fucking with my shit. Oh, that shit was fire. So how oh, shit. what is it? It's on SoundCloud? It's on SoundCloud. And I got it on Spin Brother too because I got a whole mixtape. Let me see, let me see. Check this out. Where is that? And I performed that at uh Airframe. I did Airframe last year. You check me so I ain't stop for me. <clears throat> so, cloud. Uh, all right, what is it? It's called. It's called Vibe with me. Uh, I recorded that. It was over uh, the P Rock and CL Smooth. Remember this over UB. You probably got fired for real. Bro. So like did that uh but I mean if niggas is laughing at you that had to help motivate you to to keep going strong. Yeah, cause I I easily could have gave up. I'm gonna say yeah, cause some niggas let that be like oh nah this ain't for me type shit like. Like I was like mad and it was crazy like a couple months. Like, hey, I know I couldn't do this mixtape without putting this yeah, on. Now everybody relax, put your earphones in your ear. Cause I had to put on your mixtape was on If you in your mm -hmm. car. Turn your volume to the maximum. It's ready to get lit. We gonna end this off with a bonus. Vibe with me. One time for your mind. Uh. One time. This beat is hard, bro. Yeah, I was like, yo, every time I perform, they be like, boy, you better kill this shit. They never heard me. Check. Some papers like track knees Feed to my brain festivals and protein uh, When the song's played It's like a song the way To your stereo And that is a dangerous scenario I'm a torn fast Have a conversation with old ears Telling me about how life was And now is I'm taking it in It's only like a sponge Life is like a brand to me rapid ass fudge Killer rappers with the flow Equivalent to old shit Waste groups and drowns your body Take your body in Don't know shit for lyrics When I hear a beat drop My time spent studying Eminem and Nas I break words down And it still sound lyrical no, I should fuck with it. Cause you gotta have that like lyricism, but I feel like niggas don't. Cause so many kids like hip hop is being taken over by just the youth. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know it's hot if you go to an elementary or middle school and they tell you who the hottest person. I just feel like them kids ain't really listening to like hip hop like that. Yeah. Then another thing too, I don't want people to label me as a like an old school rapper too. Cause I'm, I'm trying to be versatile. Like, but I mean, lyricism is going to be considered as like. Old school hip hop because that's what they gave you. They gave us that real rap. You get what I'm saying? Like now it's like Bang Bang, Trippy Red, Six Nine, Iffy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like when somebody say a nigga is, has lyricism, I think they're going to be. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I just think from my perspective that they're going to be categorized as like real hip hop, and old, not old school, but just real hip hop. I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> I be trying like I wanna also too I understand too why most people like 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 for instance like when I go to open mic and like it's a lyrical motherfucker they would like sit there with the zombie face depending on where you go it's like certain spaces like I know there's a lot of people they just wanna have fun too like, yeah, they don't wanna just sit out. there and like yeah 
Turn up. But Shit, that's I another thing I incorporate too, because I don't want to just be like a lyric. I don't want to just be hitting like a whole show, not me, nothing but me rapping. And right. like people gotta catch up with what the fuck I'm saying. Like, no, you're right. you're and right. two, I just want people to like grab something from it. Like, I want like I had did a song called Stay, and I wanted like like. Like somebody that dealing with breakup, like they like feel that shit, and like I had a couple. So that was a breakup song. Yeah, like I wanted like. Did my, you was you just breaking up with somebody? It was just like a past, like it was like I was thinking of a past experience one night, and then it just was like. What happened? And it just you feel me? Shit happened. You know? you <laughs> like know? what you got? Like we try to figure out what, what's what's behind the mind of a lyrical genius. You know what I'm saying? It was just like the. the it was like one night I was just sitting there, I was just listening to music, and I just started like overthinking, and then I just turned the music up. Oh, so you didn't really break up with nobody? And I did, no, I didn't break up with nobody. I got somebody broke up with me. Oh shit! So I and it just hit me again. Like at the time, like I was like I wasn't thinking about writing a song like that. I was just trying to get it on my mind. But then oh, the feeling it. came back, and I was just like, "Yo, let me write something to this." Fuck. Our exes, man. Fuck them up. It's like, I'm not even salty about it. It was just like, yo, I need to write this. I need to get this off my chest. Like, ever since then, I don't even think about that shit. Since I wrote it down, it's crazy. It came It came at like a random time. Like, I wasn't even listening to a song that would bring that shit up. And it just right. came. It's just sitting in the house late at night on your sofa. So, I guess, what's your demographic? Like, what's your crowd? Who's your audience? I want to I wanna bring in everybody, though, to be honest. I'm going to bring in old people. Uh, I want to bring in uh, young people, of course. But I, it would be dope. I just, I want to bring in more of a female crowd too, because mm-hmm. I feel like females, if females there, everybody gonna be there, right. pretty much. But I don't want to be like on some Drake shit, like making like nice for what songs all the time or some shit like that, some crazy shit. But I just want to bring in, and then like all types of like. So FGC. you make nice for what? You gonna be rich, nigga. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but I, I just don't want you feel me make. I want make female type of songs. Like I'm gonna talk about like, depending on how I feel, I might talk about abortion. I might talk about like, if a female like, you feel me, out here prostituting or whatever the mm-hmm. case may be. Let people know. So what's, I guess, when you reach out to different people on social media and just to try to make your platform bigger, what's your reason of even doing this interview? Like what's in your heart? Like, what you trying to? Convey to the world. I just want to show, not only my my city, but like it's a another type of art. it's an artist out here. I don't want to be selfish. Like I want like I want to if I was if I when I do get big, mm-hmm. I want to work with people. Like if Cali can work with each other, like I watched the Nipsey Hustle interview mm-hmm. and watch how he, it's like like Crips and stuff he did with like him and Schoolboy neighborhoods was beefing, mm-hmm. but they managed to put that aside and get the money. Atlanta, they all work together. Look how big Atlanta is. I feel like in Baltimore, we can be big if we all work together. And I want to push that. And on top of that, I want to show another side of Baltimore, but at the same time, showing how we can all connect at the same time. Because I can easily come up, I can easily say I can shoot this and shoot that for real, if nobody don't know me for real. Mm-hmm. I can easily say that. Or I can easily say, because it's so easy out here to just get a gun and shoot somebody, be like, yo, I killed somebody. Right. Now what? Mm-hmm. You feel me? But I feel like I want. It's gonna be easier to go to jail too. Yeah, man. that's what I'm saying. That's what a lot of people don't think about that shit. It's like because it's a trend, and then I don't want to follow trends. Like I'm not the type of nigga that oh like the, who want to be. I'm not mm-hmm. the type of nigga that's gonna hop on that because I know it's fat. How much the trendy is, it's, it's going to die down. Yep. And niggas ain't gonna fuck with that shit. Niggas, niggas gonna get tired of hearing it. Kill shit, run shit in the hole. You be like, you don't even want to hear it no more. Yeah. But I'm just trying to like shed a light on Baltimore, like show, cause I know there's a lot of people. They be like, "Yo, where like where are the lyrical motherfuckers in Baltimore? Where are the other rappers?" Like they like even old. I like, don't make like the older heads proud. Like we like like when I'm making that see a Nas and a Jay Z or whatever or J Cole or Kendrick. Like I won't bring them type of artists here. Right. I don't want to like I love Gucci Man and all them. But I don't just want to see them come here. I want to see a Jay Z come here more, a Kendrick Lamar come here more, mm-hmm. a Logic, a Joey Badass, or whatever. So, are you using your connects to like, I guess, even spread this even more? Like, let's say, could you went to school with a scholar and a Devo, like, reach out to them, like, yo, I want to hop on a song, I want you on my song? It's the thing. Like, I, it's so hard to, like, like, I've been hit up a couple, like, not even artists, 
like random people are like, yeah, let's do some stuff. And like, it hit me back. Or they like, it'll be like an overtax. Like, and mm. I just be like, uh, I'm, I'm still on the rise too. I was like, I, I still gotta build myself up there. So I'm hitting open mics, everything, trying to promote my mixtape, trying to do my own events. Like I did my own event. Like my first event, I brought out like at least, it had to be like 60 people. That's and good. I wouldn't even think I would That's bring that many people yeah. out. And then like- Yeah, was it up? It was a spot. I don't know if you heard of uh, B Civil Battles. No, no, no. All right, all right, but the spot was on 208 South Pulaski Street. It's a uh, B Civil Battles. Like it'd be dance battles, rap battles. Like you'll see like like uh, C, uh, C Love there, mm -hmm. Iconic God there. There'd be a battle rapper like an Apex the Genius. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and like dance battles and stuff. When so, was this though? When was it? When was the show? Uh, May six. So it just passed. It just passed. It was a mixtape release because this is my first mixtape. Oh, congratulations, then, bro! Yeah. And what's the name of the mixtape? Uh, Attention Material. So, like, how many tracks on? Uh, it's fifteen tracks, thirteen songs. That's a lot for a mixtape. Yeah, but I wanted to hit people like different vibes. Like, mm -hmm. I got, of course, like the vibe with me type tracks. Uh, then I got like the laid back chill then i got the stuff when i'm talking like i got i did a childish gambino cover mm -hmm. to uh red that? that's on youtube i got hit with a copyright so i had to put it on youtube yeah let me see but yeah I, but that's what i'm talking about how i feel like being in the city like am i gonna make it past 25 is somebody gonna shoot me or like and then like like i got a line there like i'm like my mother like saying like Every time I go out, like, feel me, watch what you're doing. Make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Roddy J, what's the name of the song? Uh, it's called it's called Woke. Woke. But I just try to. I wanted it something like people can relate to because I know a lot of people talk about like the murder rate and everything. So I put that in the song. This time is getting, you know? Yeah, the red bone, the red yeah. bone joint. See, a lot of niggas wouldn't even get a attempt this though. Yeah, it was difficult because I was just trying to figure out the type of, type of flow that I wanted to be on there. A different, a different flow though. It's definitely a different flow. Yeah. So um, so you got the mixtape, um, and the mixtape is, what's the name of the mixtape again? Attention, Attention material. material, right? All right. You got thirteen tracks. Well, fifteen tracks on that thirteen songs. Yeah. So how was that? How you been pushing it? How, like, like. I mean, of course we do the interview. Like I've been having like physical copies. Mm -hmm. How much? Like, how much uh copies? Physical copies five. Five. You got some on you? Nah, I couldn't. I tried to get him. I couldn't bought one. I don't want to tell you. Yeah, I've, been, I've been busy all day, and I was trying to make it here on time. So. No, I, no, I appreciate you yeah. being on time. You definitely was on time. That's dope. Uh, yeah. So how, can you, how do you think somebody like me or anybody else that's in the position I'm in can help an artist like Rodney J? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it that you want? What's your next level that you want? I just want to, like, 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 we can all, like, connect and do, like, like, like an event and just like put on for the city like and just like just support each other like definitely. whatever we need to do like just show love in different ways no we definitely can do that um I just, that's why i want to make sure even before we wrap up i want to make sure we touch on everything that you want to talk about everything that you want the people to know because i want to be able to post this and, and show like yo this is ryan j you know what i'm saying yeah. like this is what he stand for and things like that 
but I want to push a love, peace, and positivity, of course. Because I ain't with all that, like, like when I, like, when I want to go out, I don't want people, like, to get, see people get hurt or whatever. Because, right, no, like, it's it's sad to, like, too, when a mother has to bur- see her child get buried. Because it's supposed to be the other way around. Mm-hmm. Like, you're supposed to see your parent. But why do you think, what? Why do you think it's so much of that nowadays, though? Like? I think for here, because it's a small city, it's so easy to, like, because everybody, I'm pretty sure you follow somebody on Instagram and, like, you'll look under the thing and be like, oh, such and such is following. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, she know her too? Or mm-hmm. you know her too? And it's just like, and then on top of that, somebody have an altercation with somebody else, and it's just like, yeah, oh, I know where he at, he be over there. So it's so easy to find him too. Right. And then it's just like, egos collide too by being in a soft spot. And then like, the, some of the conditions in some of the areas how it be too. So how do you think we can change it though? I just feel like if we show show love and enough of people us like make it and like we really care about the culture and where we live at, this city can become better than what it is. Like oh, it's definitely. just I fuck with it. Show love. That's what we need to do. And just like niggas just need to put egos to the side. That's all it is. Like put your pies to the side. Like you like all right. It's cool you want to do this shit and like want to live a better life. Like. But still, like, remember, like, Jay-Z was like, yo, like, the telephone money and shit, like, mm-hmm. yeah. like all this flashing on, like, I'm seeing, like, rappers and shit get they chain snatched and shit like that, and shit like that, like, I like, feel like some rappers are not, you, like, you gotta stop, me? like, you gotta, no, nah, I get what you're saying, because it's, it's, it, it comes out to be a point where they're like, yo, listen, man, we just ended together, you know what I'm saying, like, we gotta make it all together, like, let's yeah. not do the nonsense, because... We want to all shine together. Like, I get yeah. peace, you know what I'm saying? We definitely need it. It's just, some people don't grow up like that, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then I still can understand the other side where, though, if you grew up like that, you might be frustrated that somebody talking about some shit that they didn't. Like, it just, but it's just, like, man, I get what you're saying. Because I be saying the same thing. Like, I just wish we could all just, fuck it, let's all get along. Like, <laughs> yeah, because it's like, you can literally count probably on your fingers to how many rappers is actually popping in the city. Right. As opposed to a lot of them people that you say, like, we see as talented, mm-hmm. but it's not known. Yep. And I feel like if we can get the talent, like, all, like, all, so, like, yeah. if it may be a festival or whatever the case may be or a series of events and just put on for the city. Some beef help situations out, like, happy day, like, this push your tea and this. Uh, yeah. Uh, Fucking um, Drake shit, like that's definitely helping push. See, that's like that's two, definitely helping push it to you. Like beefs and everything, but two, a lot of people say pers- some things personal. Yeah. And two, like say, cause I feel like I, I be catching the urge sometimes to write, but like yo, I'm trying to be better than y'all, like on some control shit. Yeah. But I feel like if I do that shit in the city, some niggas might get too emotional right. and be like, oh, they want to shoot me or they want you feel me? Yeah. Cause yeah. I feel like I'm I'm not trying to be like I'm not just trying to be. Okay, ass rapping and shit. I'm trying to be great. I'm like, I'm yeah, when motherfuckers a, say my name and shit, like it's, it's up a there. Art, it's a sport. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna be up there with the Jay Z, the Nazis. Like every day, I'm working on my craft. I'm working on my flow, whatever the case may be. Nothing. Like I'm trying to, and I, then I want to stick out. I don't want to sound like everybody else. Nothing. Like everybody say, oh, this is the bottom of the sound. Like everybody got that same flow here. I don't want to sound like that. Nothing. I want my shit to stick out. So when, it, when I, nigga don't even know my name, I think that they'd be like, oh, I think that's Rodney J. That's right. his shit. Uh, I'm going to try to do my best, man. Do my job to help people know who Rodney J is. You know what I'm saying? Put this together. Put it out there. Let people know, like, yo, we got dope talent, man. Like, yeah. That's what people need to know. Like, it's way more than just the the um, the Scolas, the Davos, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. although they came a long way, they did their thing. Yeah, we got they so much them. more talent. Like, yeah. they're not the only ones. Yeah. So, like, I definitely. I just want to too and tell people like stop being closed minded. Try to explore, you feel me, different things. 